The Fine Arts Theater was next to Drug King and Mr. G's Pizza. Saturday matinees showed all the classics. There was The Time Machine, Robinson Crusoe on Mars, War of the Worlds, and The Seven Voyages of Sinbad. Mommy and I had been to Safeway Supermarket picking up her bourbon, and then Drug King for the prescription for her stomach. The Fine Arts was showing Colossus the Forbin Project. I'd seen it before, but wanted to see it again. It was summer, and I wasn't wearing a shirt. The theater had a sign out front saying that you had to have a shirt and shoes to enter. Mommy asked the ticket lady if it would be okay if I could see the movie without my shirt. The ticket lady, who was grandmother-like, said it would be okay if I didn't leave my seat. I handed my ticket to the teenage boy at the door. Had the ticket lady told all the theater workers that it was okay for me to be in the theater bare-chested? I quickly found a seat. The place wasn't very crowded, so I had the whole row to myself. I discovered that if I folded my arms across my chest, I could hide my nipples. It just looked like I had a tight, flesh-colored, long sleeve shirt on. The lights dimmed and the cartoons finally started. I relaxed a little until the bright parts of the cartoons. This wasn't such a great idea. I couldn't go to get candy. The usher walked by and I knew I was done for. The moment he turned back up the aisle, he would see me violating theater rules. I wonder if I would be banned for life. He turned, but instead of coming up the same aisle, he walked over to the end aisle and then up and out of the theater. I was safe for now. The movie started, but I wasn't able to enjoy it. I wanted to leave, but if I came home too early, Mommy would get mad that I wasted her money. Some older girls came down the aisle and sat in my row. I folded my arms again to hide the giveaway nipples. At the point in the movie where Dr. Forbin is at home and it's dark, I got up and hurried up the aisle. As I walked towards the door, the usher looked at my nakedness but didn't say anything. I took the long way home through Brown's Military Academy's vacant lot. Mommy never knew about my topless adventure. The end. Okay.